Hey, welcome to the film room. We're about to discuss a topic that I refer to as a cleared side ball screen. Now this can have different terms. Some people might call it open corner or different things, but we're going to discuss the reads that you can make out of this setup. When it comes to ball screens, as a general rule of thumb, you can split the court into thirds. So on any ball screen, you need to identify where it's being set. If it's set in the middle third, that's a topic for a different video. Today in this video, we're only going to be discussing ball screens that get set on the outer third, and this is where you have cleared side ball screens. When it comes to these outer third ball screens, there's really only two setups that you can have if your team is in good offensive spacing. A paired side ball screen is where you're going to have somebody in the strong side corner because now you have a pair of people on both sides balancing the court with one guy setting a ball screen. But the topic of this video is a cleared side ball screen. And this is when there's nobody in that strong side corner as the ball screen is set. So all three of the other players are on the opposite side of the court and now you're in a position to play what we would refer to in America as a two-man game on the side of the ball screen. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I talk a lot about defensive help and tags. So in a cleared side ball screen with everybody on the opposite side of the court, the typical formation or setup offensively is usually going to be like this, slot, wing, and corner. And on the defensive side of the ball, you're going to see this triangle formation happen a lot. And I use the term nail, hole, and plug to describe these three players. But before we break down how to read those three defenders, let's go to the ball screen itself. The screener has the choice to pop or roll this screen, and it's important that the ball handler and the big are on the same page about what he's going to do because this decision has to be made very quickly. Now the reason a pick and pop is a great decision on a cleared side ball screen is because if you can engage this big defender for even a second, it opens up a lot of opportunities to shoot a three. And the reason why is because there's no tag defender on the back side like you would see in a paired side ball screen to help on this. So you're going to see Frank Kaminsky run into a step up ball screen and then it's going to get flipped on a cleared side. So here's your two man game. As Frank pops, Focus on the big defender as he gets drawn all the way down into the paint, and as it gets kicked out, Frank is wide open. And because this option is so simple, we're not going to spend a lot of our time here. We're going to focus on the pick and roll. So anytime you set this cleared side ball screen, the goal is to try and make two defenders guard one, and in the event that this happens, we want to get the ball to our big as quick as possible. Because if we can do that, this whole defender will have to step up and help, and now you have three versus two on the back side, and this is where open shots happen because the defense is at a disadvantage. So now pay attention to the three help defenders on this next ball screen. As the ball gets thrown to the big, the whole man rotates over and the nail and the plug both get caught staring at the basketball and as soon as you get cuts from the perimeter, the defense is now scrambling and as the ball gets kicked to the wing, you're going to get this bad closeout which leads to a straight line drive for a dunk. So getting the ball to the big guarantees an advantage and sometimes a guard feels like he can't get it to him himself so he'll reverse the ball to the top of the key or the slot for that player to throw it in because they have a better angle to hit the roll man. So these guards are always looking for creative ways to get the ball to the roller. You'll see that Shabazz Napier comes off this screen, looks to the middle of the court to distract the defense, and then throws a no-look pass to the big. And the more you see this read, the easier it is to identify on film and then hopefully in a game. As soon as that big comes out to help and you've got two people guarding one, if that whole defender isn't over on the midline, you can get it to the big and that's where your advantage is. So even though this is an offensive video, this can really help your defensive IQ as well. If you are that low defender, you have to make sure you get all the way over to the midline. Here's an example. The ball handler is going to reject this ball screen, which means as it comes from this direction, he's going to drive baseline but because Matt Thomas is not over at the midline, none is able to get a wide open layup as soon as he gets past his defender. And teams will do things intentionally to remove that low defender. On this play, they're gonna set a stagger for this guy in the corner just for the sole purpose of getting his man to chase him so that there's nobody on the midline and that's what opens up this alley-oop. So this was a very intentional play to pull that whole defender out 
but on this possession, they run an early drag ball screen before everybody gets back in transition. And so organically, when he comes off the screen, there's nobody deep enough to help on this alley-oop. Now, any good defense isn't gonna let this happen over and over, so let's talk about some of the adjustments defenses make. To keep you from throwing the ball to the roll man, bigs will show and then quickly recover back to their man to take it away, and then it becomes about turning the corner, and now you have to read the nail defender. If he doesn't come over and stop you, you need to get straight downhill and then make the read from there. So this is the progression of how you make this read. When you come off, get your eyes to the big defender. If he steps up, you throw it to the big. If he sinks with his matchup, you continue to attack the nail. And then if that nail defender comes over and helps, you have to kick the ball one more to the open shooter. And those reads have to be made in a split second decision. You'll see the ball handler come off and end up shooting a three that's heavily contested. But if you look at the big, he was in position to sink with the roller the entire time. So the read should have been drive to the nail and make a play rather than settling for the shot. So you'll see almost the same situation, but the guard making the right decisions. As Shabazz comes off, the big is going to show and recover, and this nail defender isn't coming over and stopping him, so he gets downhill to the paint, he draws a help defender, and then kicks it to an open shooter. Now another aspect of these cleared side ball screens is a step up screen. As he comes off this first screen, he tries to jail his defender by keeping him behind as the big rolls and nothing comes out of it, so he gets rid of it and gets it right back. And this is a step up screen where the screen sends you to the sideline baseline rather than the middle of the floor. So as he comes off, he ends up forcing an emergency switch and you will notice the miscommunication between the nail defender and Shabazz. They both think that they're gonna take the big who's rolling and that's what opens up this shake pass for an open three. So just by changing the angle of your screen, it creates new problems for the defense. As Frank comes into this early drag, they're gonna flip it into a step up. And because the big was worried about the drive middle, he's late trying to cut off punter who turns the corner and it leads to this open mid range jump shot. And another way you see EuroLeague teams take advantage of this coverage is they will utilize the elbow or the pinch post. And one way they do that is they'll throw him the ball and then have this guard in the slot back cut off of him while this defender isn't paying attention. And in America, we refer to that as a blind pig action. And this is something that you don't see in the States as much as you see in European basketball, which I really like. Another way that they take advantage of this spacing is as they come off, they'll throw it to that pinch post elbow area, and as the whole man steps up to help, he will actually throw it to the roller in this passing triangle look like you saw earlier when the guard got rid of it to the top of the key. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways that you can take advantage of a defense just by running cleared side ball screens if you understand the way that help defense works. If you're learning a lot from these videos and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that button so you can get updated when I put out more content. And I've got more resources in the link tree in my bio for you. Thanks for coming through. We'll see you next time in the film room.